A few months ago, I created a video that was well received on my channel and in that video, I show you how to synchronize your video and audio together in a shortcut. Now there is a question that came out on my channel that asks, is there a way to link the audio and video after you have synchronized it so that you don't have to keep on uh, resynchronizing that audio and video as you edit? Now in a shortcut, there isn't a function to link that audio and video up together. Now there are some ways to keep your audio and video in sync and I use them all the time. I'm going to share with you in this video how I go about it and perhaps that can help you as well. So let's dive straight into the screen right now. I have these two media clips in my playlist. One is my video that's from DSLR and this is my video here. And this is the audio that is recorded directly onto the computer. They are not in sync at all, however you can gauge from the waveforms how to actually uh, move them closer. Now let's uh, zoom in a little bit and you notice that this is where I snap my fingers. Now if you are doing any recording, this is what you need to uh, remember to do so that it gives you a chance to synchronize that audio. However, the test is actually to listen to the recording, so let's unmute this and listen to it. Okay, this, this is, is sample, sample recording. recording. Now you notice that there is a slight echo and we are going to uh, align this first. I'm going to turn off toggle snapping so that it allows me to uh, adjust this a bit in closer. This is a sample recording to show you. Let me just listen to it one more time. This is a sample recording to show you. Okay, so this is good. The next thing I'm going to do is I am going to turn back toggle snapping on. I'm going to slice it somewhere here and here as well. So with toggle snapping on, you know that your cursor will be at the place that it's supposed to be and it wouldn't move. Okay, so let's zoom out to the timeline. Alright, so let's just delete this first. Now let's say I want to uh, delete this section. Let's listen to this. This is a sample video. I show you how I synchronize my audio and at the same time how Assuming that these are the two tracks I want in sync, how do you keep them in sync? Now, a shortcut doesn't have the ability to link up this audio and video. Maybe it's something that uh, is in the pipeline in the future, who knows. But for now, uh, this is how I do it. Okay, I would turn off the mute the audio, but I would leave the waveform so that in case I need to see the waveforms, I can see that. Now, let's say you want to trim the video somewhere here. I am going to just uh, split it there and split it over to the next. And let's say this is where I want to uh, split that video, okay? So I'm going to split the video as well as the audio. Next, I'm going to just uh, delete this. And delete this. Oops. Let me just remove this. And you'll notice the clip is still in synchronized. So I'm just going to say a few things. To, okay, so the first tip is to make sure that your toggle snapping is turned on when you do uh, splits or uh, deletes so that your uh, clips will actually cut exactly the same place. So let me just undo that. Another thing that you can do is actually to use this function here. Go to your menu, go to options, go to ripple all tracks. Make sure that ripple all tracks is turned on. So let's say this is a section that I want to cut off. So I'm just going to I split the video. I'm not going to touch the audio. I'm going to split the video over here. Okay. You notice that I haven't split the audio, but I am going to delete this. Okay. Or rather ripple delete this. And you notice that the speech is still in sync. And at the same time, how to keep the audio synchronized. So these are the two tips to keep your audio in, and video in sync in Shortcut even though it doesn't have the ability to link up the audio and the video. I hope that this video has benefited you. If you like it, do give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, do consider subscribing. Now I also have an entire playlist that you can see on screen showing you how to use a shortcut. However, there is also a course that you can take uh, that course covers from A to Z everything that I know from using shortcuts so do check it out in the description below.